Hello family transetta. This will be my final video in regards to the Helio Biblia Sun book. I know I've talked a lot of negative stuff in my past video about this book, but now it's time to point out all the positive information that's in this book. Now, when we look back at, let's say, for example, the Old Testament and the Torah, which I 100% subscribe to the Torah, we learn about our patriarchs such as Abraham, Moshe, Aaron, Isaac, Jacob, you know, King David, I could go on and on and on. And we learn that these people that existed according to the Bible were servant of the Most High. And I personally believe that the Most High that they were serving is my creator. Now, I know, of course, they mentioned blood sacrifice, but I'm going to overlook that portion of it because I don't believe that our creator required blood sacrifice, as I've mentioned over and over. I know it states that in Leviticus and these other, you know, books of the of the Helio Sun Book Bible. But I'm telling you, I don't believe it. That doesn't necessarily mean it, it occurred. Now, when we take a look at the 66 books that's in the Bible, and many of us read the 1611 King James Version Bible with the Apocrypha, we realize that the Helio Biblio Sun Book King James Version Bible that we read today, the new King's, King James Version doesn't have the Apocrypha for in it. And you have to ask yourself, why not? Why? Because they have taken out that particular portion of the book to hide the information that condemns them. And this is why I'm saying to y'all that I don't 100% disagree with the Bible. I just know there's a lot of contradiction in this Bible because I've read a lot of contradiction. But I do know there's a lot of um, information that condemns the so-called white men and actually point out who the most I chosen people are, which is us. The Deuteronomy chapter 28 curse is enough to show who the people of the of the true, you know, in other words, the Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses in the Bible points out who the true chosen people are. It's definitely not those people over there occupying that land called Palestine. Because I have a question. Would the most side chose a group of people who pretty much cannot stand the sun, a creation of the most side, the sun, the S-U-N, literally the sun will desiccate these devils. They would, I mean, we will burn them alive. But yet still, they're saying that they're the most side chosen people. They're not. They might be God chosen people, the God of this world. But remember, the lesser God is not going to give you the blessing like the most side have given us the blessing, which is the melanated so-called black skin. That actually the sun smiles upon us. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand how is it that the original man was black. You know, the, um, black, the black people of this planet, the, uh, the aboriginal people of this planet, we rule Europe. We rule all over the world. And we was black people before these cave dwellers came out of the caves and took, took over. I guess that's where the curse came in, according to the Bible, the Helio Biblical Sun Book. So... I know it seems that I was knocking the Bible, but there's so much positive references in the Helios Biblio Sun Book, the so-called Bible, that I have to point out. We have the Maccabees, that's not in the Bible. We have the book of Obadiah that was removed. We have the book of Enoch. I mean, so many different books that was removed that they didn't canonize because they say, well, it's not a part of the Bible. You had some European devils that got together and made that decision, what they're going to put in the Helio Biblio Sun Book. So this is why I want you to understand, family, is that, you know, I don't knock the Bible per se. All I do know is that we're not getting all the information that is out there. They're only giving us limited information because they want to hide who we are as a people. You know what I'm saying? Edom, a lot of people say it's a so-called white man, which I agree to a degree that Edom, the Edomites are somewhat white or red because they're not really white. And you do have Ishmael that's mixed with Edom. You do have the Arab Saudi Arabians that's mixed with Edom. They will fall eventually. And those particular um, scriptures in the Bible, I do accept. Because, I mean, if you really think about it, right before your eyes, this stuff is happening. America, the United States of America, is actually falling right before our eyes. You got, uh, what is it? Um, there's a bank, Wells Fargo right now, that's having problem issues with their money. Having issues with people obtaining their money this is why i've been telling y'all for the longest y'all need to pull that money out of the bank put that shit on your mattress so dig on your backyard make some kind of you know hide plate hiding place 
for your so-called dollar bill and God we trust these fiat money and or you might want to use them up right now while it's still tangible because I'm telling you soon enough the second government shutdown should it happen all these banks is gonna fail you know so you're gonna hear all these Bank of America all these different different banks saying oh you know we don't have the funds or we have a power outage or whatever even in California the other day they had some kind of um uh, military drill you have these black helicopters landing in the middle of the street doing drills it has to be for a reason family something major is about to hit the pipeline so this is one of the reasons why I want to get this Bible thing out of the way now we are back on track now we're gonna focus on all the blessings and the curses that's about to befall upon the white man the curses and the blessing that's gonna befall upon us for those of who for those of us who are following the Lord's Sides and Commandment the dietary law and serving only one God no sun god deity jesus christ lucifer aka you know what i'm saying we need to understand that this helio sun book we have many gods in this book and once we go back to serving only one creator whoever he is you know what i'm saying that's when we're going to start getting the blessing and that's what i've been doing that's why i personally believe that i'm blessed me and my family so you have to ask yourself the question once again, why did they remove the book of Obadiah, the book of Enoch, um, the Maccabees? Why did they remove these books? Because these books condemned them. I personally believe that these books are actually a part of our record. This is one of the reasons why you don't see it in the so-called NIV Bible or the King James Version Bible. You know what I'm saying? We'll see it in the 1611 as far as the Apocrypha is concerned, but in these other Bible, you don't see it. It is so crazy, family, that if you was to turn open up the NIV Bible and compare it to the the King James Version Bible, there's a lot of discrepancy. They've actually taken out uh, verses out of the NIV Bible. That's how much they're trying to hide certain things. They're changing words around. You can you can actually find bottle, the word bottle in the Bible, knowing damn well our people didn't deal with bottles. We didn't know anything about glass bottles. We knew how to make um, you know, apparatus, like drinking apparatus out of leather, what we refer to as satchels. Okay, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Satchels, where you'll you you'll kill an animal and you'll take the hide and dry it out and make you know like shoes or satchels to to store water. Now they got bottles. They got police officers in the fucking Bible. And you want me to believe that they haven't infiltrated this book? Come on, man. Are you not serious? So again, family. Let me explain once again that I do subscribe to the Bible. There's a lot of wonderful stories in the bible including the story of king david moshe abraham isaac i'm telling you i love it i love even the story about esau when he's gonna get his ass kicked i love it because i know it's gonna happen it's happening right before our eyes all the curses that was upon us now is upon these devils they're dying out they're dying breed they're not reprodu reproducing fast enough you got the opioid epidemic the erin the fentanyl all these plagues is upon them you got these jewish devils over there getting measles at a high rate a lot of them are dying from skin cancer. They're just not reporting it because they don't belong in that land. So please do not misconstrue that, you know, I'm an individual that's anti-Bible. Absolutely not. I just want to point out that there is a lot of discrepancy in this book. I don't want y'all to take 100% stack. And who am I to tell you what to do? All I'm saying to you, if you really and truly read the Bible, you'll see a lot of discrepancy. You know what I'm saying? Second Chronicles, I think it's either Second Chronicles, Second First Chronicles, or Second Chronicles tell you that God or Lord said to call the uh, count the children of Yasharal, and you have Second Samuel telling you it was Satan. Uh, it could be the other way around. Discrepancy. You know what I'm saying? So I just want you to understand, family, that I do love my people enough to try to point out certain issues that I believe is holding us back from having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Most High. We don't need pastors to preach to us. We definitely don't need no white pastors preaching to the to the Israelite. We are the light of the gen. We are the light to the Gentile. Why are they preaching to us? I see a lot of uh, congregation such as Joe Austin and that other bitch, uh, devil bitch. I forgot her name. You know what I'm saying? They preaching to all these black people and telling them, oh, you know, they are pastors and they're working for the Most High or God or whatever they want to call it. And our people are buying into that bullshit. A lot of our people got white Jesus hanging up in their homes, you know, putting curses upon themselves. This is why you see a lot of these elderly still living in poverty, you know what I'm saying, from social, from social security check to social security check, not 
being able to get out of poverty because they have this idol in their home. My mother included. She just hold dear to this so-called white Jesus. Keep telling her that it's an idol. She knows this. The Bible tells you not to have any heavenly, you know, images or anything from above or below and worship it. And she actually adores it. She believes that's Jesus Christ. Maybe because she's a, probably got that devil DNA in her because she is, I think, that's half white. You know what I'm saying? So she's holding dear to the so-called white man, a part of her lineage. But it is what it is, you know, and at the end of the day, we all going to have to stand before our creator and give an account for for what we have done to um, offend him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just telling y'all family that, you know, it's time now for us to wake up out of our slumber. We really and truly need to start following the Lord's stats and command. Notice I always say that in, in all my videos, follow the Lord's stats and commandments, because when you follow the Lord's stats and commandments, you're pleasing your God, your quote unquote God, your creator, according to the the, the commandments and the commandment shouldn't be grievous because it's, it's it's like we follow man's law every damn day you know what i'm saying at least we for the most part we we follow man law so why we can't follow the creator's law which is to be obedient to his law statutes and commandments and the dietary way of eating you know what i'm saying i mean i don't see nothing wrong with with him telling us what to eat and what not to eat because when you really and truly think about like swine and pig and all that do you know how much worm is in a is in a pork chops when you cook that shit you think is is cooked it's not these worms are embedded in this meat and you eat it and you are what you eat that's why you have to be careful I, if i if i could help it i would be a vegetarian for real you know what i'm saying i would be a vegetarian or a vegan or i don't know if it's the same thing i would stop eating meat because meat is actually defiled i mean when you really think about it, when you kill the meat kill that animal <laughs> right life is in the blood and we we consume that animal we're consuming that life force that's that was in that animal and i know you know according to the bible we can go ahead and eat meat because you know the most i told us to, you know told adam at the sweat of his brow paraphrasing he shall you know seek after his food so now i guess back then adam and eve they was vegetarian but because of what they did now they have to hunt their own food as a form of punishment and a lot of y'all believe you know because that's what the bible say we can eat meat I, if i can help it i wouldn't do it you know what i'm saying i would not do it but I just wanted to come on here, family, and let you know that, you know, I'm not anti-Bible. I do love the Bible. I do subscribe to the Bible. It's just that we have to be very, very careful when we read this Helio Biblia Sun book. And with that, I say shalom.